All right, I typically hate celebrity fragrances. Now, it's not that I hate celebrities, and it's not that I hate fragrances. It's that when I see them, I don't necessarily believe that the people who were promoting them were particularly connected to what they were making. And I, I want to be involved every step of the way, whether it's the design of the bottles, the way it smells on a woman. It doesn't feel like you're overwhelming anybody with it. It's very basic and very classic. The anti-celebrity fragrance, really simple. And I want it to look sophisticated and elegant and like you could actually have it on your counter and not have it be offensive. It goes along with a really big part of who I am and so I don't really feel insecure about it where I definitely had my, my reservations and my apprehension. Now I know that the thing that I'm making and putting out there is great. You don't want to be alarmed by a scent. You want it to be alluring or, or mysterious in some way, or you don't want to feel like you ripped a page out of a magazine and rubbed it all over your body. You want to have something that's uniquely your own, and, and that's kind of how I feel about a lot of different things. I like to feel like whether you're writing a song or wearing a shirt or walking down the street, whatever it is you're doing, it kind of feels good to feel like you're doing it in a different way. This philosophy definitely plays when you're talking about something that I've always considered to be an overextension for someone in my position, but because I love it and because I'm involved with the process, I think we really created two different scents that are bold and unique and make people feel good about themselves, and God, man, that's a, that's a good thing to do.